we're back for more Abandoned. I'm your Gibbs. This is a creepy asylum that we're visiting. Oh wow, did you see those things moving up there? Good grief. Uh, inventory wise, we really just have a baseball bat, which I guess in the circ under the circumstances, that's not a bad thing. I mean, I think I would rather be in this creepy place with a baseball bat. So uh, one thing I did uh, forget in the first episode was that uh, I didn't actually check for morphing objects and that's okay because I can go back and uh, check now, I guess. Quickly here. And I don't know if there's one in every scene because that would imply there's only 22 scenes. Oh, I didn't even know I could go over here. <laughs> All right, well, I guess we're going to go here now. Looks like we have a case here. I need to find the combination. Oh, look at a pineapple. Baseball. This is where we started the game. There might not be anything here. Well, let's look at the guide. Let's look at enter the asylum. Oh, yeah, right on the red tape there. Somewhere. There it is. Ha ha, do not cross. Ha ha ha. Let's have a look. Where's the next one? It doesn't look like there's anything there. Got the pineapple. Uh, did I get that one above there? Let me have a look again. Yeah, yeah, I got that... Uh, hanging plant, I guess you could say. I don't think there was one here. Nope. We got that one. Got that one. Yeah, we got that one. I just want to make sure I am fully caught up here. Okay, so that's basically where I left off. So let's go back inside. This guy wants some water, but all I have is a baseball bat here. Good sir. No, he is not going to have it. He's not interested. Oh, wow, I didn't even know I could do this. Uh, you know what? Baseball bat. I love that I've had a plan here, and I've actually completely diverted from my original plan. Love it. Oh, what a smell. Wait, it's a gas leak. I need to cut it off as soon as possible. How am I supposed to do that? Oh, I don't even have my bat anymore. Wow, that's just not fair at all. Oh, and it's like filling up in the room now, too. It looks like the door hinge hinges are rusted. Let's see. Can't get in there. So I guess we should go back up. We have a TV here, but I don't know which channel to turn it to. Yeah, those are very strange symbols. The right tool will help me cut this wire. Looks like we have an elevator. Ah, the ominous elevator. It doesn't work. Something must be broken or missing inside the panel. I need a screwdriver. Okay, so that was a morphing object. I'll take that valve. Uh, what else do we have in here? Nice long chair. Books. Take the corkscrew first, though. What am I supposed to be doing? I don't quite. Sigmund Freud? Maybe I gotta match the authors? No? Sigmund Freud. There's like tons of Sigmund Freuds. Crime and punishment? Ah, uh, these are some pretty old books here. So what's this saying? These books look like switches, but to make them work, I need to understand each part of this mechanism. Which I gather I do not. Hey, a gas mask. Corkscrew. No. No such luck there. Ugh, somebody's making creepy noises out there. So, what's going on over here now? 
The door is locked from the inside. I have to find a way to get the key out of the keyhole. Oh, I thought that corkscrew was totally going to be legit. But no, no such luck. Hey, hey, stop moving around. So we... Oh yeah, that's right. I was going to say we can't go down here, but we can. I forgot. We left this area last time, didn't we? Will this work? No. It's probably a magnet would be my guess. Maybe it's in here. Oh, I should check for morphing objects. Yeah, there you go. Did I catch... No. No smoking and no diving. <laughs> ah, this is where it was too dark. Lamp chain is missing. There's... I think that might be the morphing object. It's a random boot. It doesn't look like I can get in here anyways. So let's go ahead and do this. All this medical stuff just laying around everywhere. A lighter. Smoking pipe. I'll have to come back to that. Another kitty cat statue. Eggplant. <laughs> That's quite the drill. I don't know what kind of needs you would have for a drill from a medical standpoint like that. Oh, there's the pipe. Light it up. So we have ribs now. Hmm. Army man. Where are the ribs? Let's see here. So we have a trident and ribs. And uh, now, where is that trident? <laughs> it's the Eiffel Tower there. Alright, found you. Ooh, scalpel. Now we're starting to collect some things. Now, now, now. I really want that boat hook, but it doesn't seem to want to let me have it. So I don't think there's an actual map in this game. Let's have a look here. No, I don't think so. So that's too dark. This needs a screw or a wrench. Yeah. This needs a magnet or something. Let's get in there. Yeah. Whoa. That was creeping me out. Chestnut Lodge Mental Hospital. Welcome to your new home. 962. What is that for? I don't know. 962. I found a moth. Because, you know, moths and stuff. So... Where was the code? I don't think it's in here. Where did we need that code? That's rusted. Oh, I have a valve. Maybe that will help me here? If I can figure out where to put it? No. I might have to have that gas mask to walk in there. So I still need to figure out what to do there. But we have another hidden object scene. Oh, actually, I didn't even know I could go here. Oh. Oh, look at the doggy house. It's all chained up. That's sad. <laughs> if only I could distract him with a b moth. I was going to say with a butterfly. A small key would help me get rid of those huge chains, and I don't have a small key. Okay, where's the morphing object game? Whoa, I didn't even know I could go here either. Wow. This place is, uh... Definitely run down, that's for sure. Looks like there's like a wheel up there. The door's locked from the inside. I should look for another way. Hmm. Alright, well, let's get into it then. No sense beating around the bush here. 
looks like we're going to be doing lots of clicking around here, and I think this is a, uh, I don't know the exact name for it, but it's something to, like, hit sheets when they're all dusty. You put them on the clothesline and you smack them, maybe? Or maybe rugs. Maybe that's what it's for, rugs. Where'd that hammer go? Piggy bank, give up your money. I want all of your monies. So we have a, a gourd, which is there. A weather vane, a broom, and a pipe. A cocktail. Hmm. I need a fancy glass. Oh wow, okay, it goes into that. That's cool. That was totally a random guess by my self here. I didn't quite know if that was the right place for it, but clearly it was. Maybe I should take credit for being so smart about it. Oh, weather vane, a clothes pin, and a broom. Oh, what's this? Candles. I hear those cravens out there. You know they're coming for me. Worse than they really are, these cravens. So we have a clothespin, which is there. Weather vane and a pipe. So I don't know what kind of pipe. Are we talking smoking pipe or what? That is the million dollar question. Pacifier, which I don't think we need. Not sure. Wow, it's a rooster weather vane. Alright, alright, fine. Let's see if we can find this pipe for the hint counter adds up. Do a little meta game here. Because we can. I really want to take this from home with me. I think he wants to join us on adventures. Yeah, this game certainly came out uh, before the companion creatures were added to the genre of in object games. And even nowadays it definitely feels like some developers go a little bit overboard with that. It's all part of the fun, I guess. That's a pipe. Totally a pipe. Hey, we've got money, but we have no cup. How the heck's that gonna work for us? So I don't see anything that way. The three nailed planks are no obstacle if you have the right tool. Crowbar. Totally gonna need one. We all know it's true. But I don't see any morphing objects here. So we can still, uh... Still have lots of places we can go and visit here. So let's take care of this one. This improv improvised ladder certainly could use more steps. Sure it could. Pizza. Oh, fly swatter. Oh, I thought that was gonna work on the fly swatter. Ew, gross. <laughs> Can't believe we smacked the fly. That's kind of funny. Like funny gross, but it's still funny. Ah, uh, where does this go? Another Eiffel Tower. Uh, an old school kettle here. I think I have one of those lying around my house somewhere. You fill the bottom, I think it is, with coffee grinds, and then the top is water? Can't remember exactly, but anyways, it could be also a teapot as well. Or eggplant. As you know, eggplant. We have an empty glass. Ooh, look at that big chunk of steak. Compasses. We have compasses. That's a compass, but apparently not a compasses. So we have a glass, which is there. We have compasses. And a spoon. Hmm. Is 
So I don't know what a plural compasses would be. Oh, it's just a spelling mistake. It should be just compass. Oh, game. That was cheap. Of course, I was looking over here, too, and it was right next to it. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? When you're not looking for something, you're never going to find it. Well, I shouldn't say never. I mean, you could randomly click on it and find it. But now I need a spoon, and who knows what kind of spoon we're talking about here. Well, I mean, in theory, it's a spoon that is traditionally shaped like a spoon, if that makes any sense. Yeah, definitely a spoon. Aha, so now we've got ourselves a glass, we can go get the, the man some water. We have to pay for water, which feels a little bit crazy, but nonetheless. Push the button. Hopefully this makes him talk. You need to talk, mister. Nothing happens. Now let's try talk. Talk, talk, talk. Thank you. I just went out to have some coffee with my guys, and but when we returned, the, the body had disappeared. So, so, so you seen some boy at the entrance? I'm not sure he's the guy we saw. Our, our guy was so dead. The only thing I know is that this is a terrible place, and I don't want to be here anymore. I'd better go. Take it, and good luck. You're certainly gonna need it. Okay, we have a lamp chain, because, you know, we need that. Let's see here. When he recovered, he told me that they had found the dead body of some boy in the elevator shaft, but then the body had disappeared. Well, it is not much information, but still something. No, I would say that that is almost zero information. I mean, maybe a little bit more than zero. So why do I have a lamp cord? Oh, shh, don't make noises. Oh, there's that wind thing. So, oh, maybe we can turn the light on like this with our chain. Oh, I guess the boot isn't the morphing object. Huh. Oh well. Whoa, holy cow. I have one of these, though. Rotate the valves until all the gauges show no pressure. Red's bad, isn't it? I think we did it. Yes, we did it. <laughs> the slow reaction is uh, had me doubting myself. I will certainly need an operating manual for this machine. Ah, come on. It's just a gas boiler or something. I don't know. You know what this thing is? I think we can go back to the kitchen now. Let's see if I can remember how to get there. Yep. Oh, I still need that gas mask, don't I? But I don't... I don't know if the scalpel is going to help me. Hmm. So I I don't know if this will help me with the... No, okay. I do need a straight up screwdriver for that. I don't know if that will help with that. No. And I don't know if that will help me with that. Oh, I just had to cut the rubber. Got myself a gas mask. Yeah. That's not very secure at all. That's okay. Whoa, freaky. What the hell am I supposed to do here now? Oh, turn on the exhaust system. Yeah! We're in! Creepy refrigerator. I don't think I want to go digging through that at all. 
Oh, I got myself a bone for a Mr. Doggy. That's good. Oops, didn't want to finish like that. Doesn't look like there's much else for me to do, but we are out of time, but we'll be back and we'll be playing more Abandon Chestnut Lodge Asylum. I'm your Gibbs. Thank you all for watching. I'm waving at you right now. Bye.